What's up everybody? Welcome to Pink Flamingo Gaming. Today we're going to be doing a pickup video and the game room is getting very, very close to being done or done for now because things are never finished. Um, this is another corner of my room. Some of you guys have seen this before. Uh, we have two TVs here side by side. Uh, we now have uh, two Nintendo Switches hooked up. Uh, so one for each TV so you can play against each other. Which is going to be really awesome because I can't wait to have somebody down here to play them against Mario Kart. That's going to be so fun. Uh, but this is a pickup video, so let's check out what we got. I got some really cool stuff here, and I can't wait to show you guys. Our first item, big box. I have never seen this big box before, but Wolfenstein. I have this on the Jaguar. I can't say I played it very much, uh, but now I have the big box. The cool thing is... This has a action figure inside of it, which is really awesome. All of that is new sealed. The game is opened. I have never played this game on the PlayStation 4 before, and I'm super excited to play it. I do have a PlayStation 4 down here. I'm also going to have a PlayStation 4 kiosk down here very shortly, and maybe that's where we'll do a first-time play on this game. Did a really awesome pickup actually today. It's funny when you don't expect things. Um, I've noticed right around this time of the year, there is slim pickings at places like Goodwills, Salvation Armies, the thrift stores. I don't really find much this time of year, um, which is exactly the opposite of what I would have thought. You know, I thought everybody would be getting rid of their stuff around Christmas time. You know, right after Christmas when they got all the new stuff, maybe they got some new games. It was time to clean out some old stuff when they went to go put their stuff away. Exactly the opposite. I actually see a lot uh, more after yard sale season get donated. Uh, but luckily today, one of the thrift stores saved me something. I got a really good deal on it. So we start off with uh, Xbox 360. I believe it's called a Connect. If they still called it that, then I still have never used one of these things. And then a whole pile of games. So let's start with the let's start with the Wii games. We got a couple Wii games, and they were starting to price them. Uh, but one of the things about this thrift store is these never make it to the shelf. They save them for me which is awesome. So anytime games come into this particular store, they save them to me. They sold these to me for just a dollar a piece, which is awesome. All right, so we got, tell me if you guys played any of these games, because a lot of these I've never even seen before. Uh, Build and Race. So looks like some kind of racing game. Uh, maybe you could customize cars. That's what I would assume. Looks like it could be promising. Not really worth a ton of money, but hey, it's not always that what we're in for is the money. I love car games. Very simple, speed. No, not not speed the movie, speed the game. Yeah. Um, so I love driving games, I love racing games and car games. I don't know of many awesome driving games on the Wii, but here's one besides Mario Kart, but here's one. Uh, so we're good there, we got that one there. Junior League Sports, I don't think this is something that I will ever play. Uh, looks like there's a couple sports involved in this one. You got uh, right on the front cover there, basketball, soccer, and I don't know, is that hockey? Yeah, it looks like hockey. So we got that one there. I don't know if I'll ever play that one. I've got a few copies of this, so we're probably going to be uh, selling this one to uh, gain some money back to put back into the game collection. Of course, uh, Lego Batman. The Lego games are always awesome. My favorite Lego game so far is actually um, Lego City Undercover. If you have not played that, it is on the Wii U and also on the Switch. Really fun, awesome. It's an open um, open game. You can go all over the map. It's really fun. It's like basically like uh, Grand Theft Auto on um, with Legos. It's kind of awesome. This is not that game, though. All right, who doesn't love, speaking of Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto. This is a Grand Theft Auto I have never played. I have actually never played Grand Theft Auto Liberty City. Um, this this one's actually looks really good. The copy's really clean. Some of these games were not as clean. Um, but yeah, really clean copy. I actually look forward to playing this. I have my 360 down here, but I have so many things hooked up. I ran out of HDMI ports. Um, so if anyone's got a resolve for that, let me know in the comments below. Fable 3, I have uh, multiple copies of this. I have no interest in playing it, but I have it now. Harry Potter, I think this was actually um, one of the games that were worth a couple bucks. I think this was like a $20, $25 game, which I was actually surprised to see. I love Harry Potter. 
to dive around in it like a porpoise. I spurrow through it like a gopher. And toss it up and let it hit me on the head. Um, so I think this was the one. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. My daughter is a big Harry Potter fan. She's begging me to go to uh, Universal Studios this year to see all the Harry Potter stuff. I would like to try the, uh, that Harry Potter, uh, soda beer, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. Um, I would like to try that. That looked good. And we got the, uh, Connect sensor. So we got Connect Adventures to go along with that. So that's good. Army of Two. Another one that I've never played. I'm um, guessing this is like a Call of Duty. I always loved on Super Nintendo um, the Toy Story games. And we got Toy Story 3 on the Xbox 360. Not sure if this is a good one or not. From the back cover, the uh, the animations look really awesome. But we know how that goes. <laughs> so the animations on the back don't always um, justify the game. So we'll have to see if that's any good. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Hello? Oh, yeah. ah! Whoa! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I frighten you? And... Then the next two, we just got a couple Call of Duties, pretty common stuff. I have bought every single Call of Duty brand new as they have come out. Um, so nothing terribly exciting here. Um, if I have these, which I'm 99% confident I do because I bought every single one and I, I played on Xbox systems, uh, we're probably going to put this in the selling pile. They don't go for much. They're like $5 games, but hey, we only paid a dollar each, so we're up 8 bucks. Uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. This is so bizarre to me. I don't understand this whole thing. Uh, this is the last game from the thrift store. Uh, so, yeah, cool. I got all these. A buck a piece. Even even games I, I didn't want, I, I didn't refuse. Um, I did go into uh, the Salvation Army this week on my day off. Uh, they didn't have any games, but they had a bunch of Xbox 360 controllers. Um, unfortunately, none of them had the back battery covers. They were tagged blue, which meant they were 99 cents. Even at 99 cents, I was like, ah, you know what? No battery covers. I really don't need them. I didn't buy them. Um, he actually ended up tossing them, which kind of sucks because I really hate to see that happen. I even questioned myself walking out whether I should have bought those because maybe they would have worked. You know, I would have lost a dollar. You know, if they didn't, not a big deal. But then I would have had to buy back battery covers for all of them just to test them. And I think the battery covers to order those would have actually cost me more then the controllers were even worth if they didn't work so it wasn't it just wasn't worth it so i passed on those we do have some more stuff i actually got some stuff in the mail over the last two weeks that i have not opened i've been waiting uh to get a bigger collection of stuff to open stuff uh so let's grab the mail mail time, mail time. Mail time. the mail's here come on well, I was hoping to receive a couple more things in the mail before I did these, but you know what? I guess it's time to just get these done and over with. Um, we got a total of four packages here to open. Um, I have things on order from Limited Run. Oh my God, Limited Run. I'm not going to get started tonight on Limited Run. I also got some stuff on order from Super Rare Games. One of the things here are from Super Rare Games, uh, but I have two things on order that haven't come. Uh, someone told me the other night that uh, Royal Mail... Um, I guess got hacked and uh, there's like a big delay. I don't know. How do you hack physical mail? But uh, whatever. Uh, first thing here we got is something I purchased off eBay. And I know there if this is what I think it is. Um, I've had this for over two weeks and have not opened it. So I'm excited to get this. This is a box game. It's not in perfect condition, but it is one of my favorite games. Ugh. And I've never played this one on the Game Boy. So hopefully it's good. Super RC Pro-Am. I absolutely love RC Pro-Am. Um, like I said, I'm a big racing uh, game fan. And this, it sucks. It has the rip on the back. It has the rip on the back. But this looks like a really awesome game. Um, I, I can play this. I know I can play this. I love these games. It looks just like it looks just like it does on the NES, only in black and white. This might look good on a Game Boy Color. I don't know. We'll have to try that out and see what that looks like. All right, let's put that over here and let's see what else we got. We got to get rid of that one. This one is from Super Rare and let's open this up. Like I said, I have two other items on order from Super Rare. So I know this isn't one of the older ones uh, or uh, sorry, one of the one of the ones I recently ordered. Uh, but there are some things I have on the way and uh, hopefully those come and we'll show those in the next video. And I always order the max you can order is two copies of any game and come with the card tells you if they have any problems with your order blah 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 
And we got Hell is Other Demons. So I forgot what this game is about, uh, but we got two copies of them. They're, they're actually, I think, fairly inexpensive. People complain about um, the cost of these games from Super Rare. They have gone up. They're, they're $36. You got to pay for shipping. Shipping is usually $10 uh, from Europe. It's not terrible. They're usually limited to a, a max of 5,000 games. I think that was a 5,000 game copy. I don't think, as of the recording of this video, that that game was actually sold out. Um, there was another game that I ordered recently that had, I want to say it was three or 4,000 copies, and it actually sold out in hours. Um, so if you want to get into Super Rare, just go into go to superraregames.com, check them out. They have some really cool indie games. Um, I've actually, uh, they do blind boxes uh, once a year. I did the blind boxes two years in a row, and uh, I got some pretty valuable games. Um, and the games tend to go up in value, so, you know... I do, I don't lie to you guys, I do speculate a little bit. I do collect some of those games uh, just to hold on to, and hopefully they appreciate in value, uh, so this way I could sell them later on uh, for something I really do want. So, yeah, I buy them. You have the opportunity to buy them too, so check them out. All right, now here's where I forget what we got. All right, so we got, oh, this is from Best Buy. I don't even remember what I ordered from Best Buy. I ordered a game from Best Buy? Really? Really? I don't remember ordering a game from Best Buy. What did I order from Best Buy? Oh, I know what this is. I think I know what it is. Wow. I got to get scissors for this one, I think. Maybe let me try to open it. If this is what I think it is. Because we opened something last week that came separately. Maybe this is not it. No, this is not what I thought it was. This is Dusk for the Switch. I, I think I already opened the Martian game. There was a Martian game that I got. Martian Panic. And it was weird because when I ordered Martian Panic, the gun that came with it came to my house and that got mailed. And the game I had to go pick up at Best Buy. So I don't know. I, I, I think I did something wrong when I clicked and did the order where I did a partial pickup, partial delivery. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, we got uh, Dusk. Now, this is a limited run game. They do put these stupid tags on the back. Oh, my God. I forgot about this. I think they made them so you could take them off. Yes. Thank God. All right, because my name and my name, not my address, but my name and my order number is on the back of this thing. And thank God it peels off. If you're a collector, the last thing you want to see is these things on your packages for Best Buy. That's not good. Um, so if you didn't know, Best Buy sells games from Limited Run. So check them out. You could get them from Limited Run Games, but then you got to pay shipping. Um, but then you can get collector's editions. If you get them from Best Buy or Amazon, you're just going to get the standard edition. That's just the game, the classic edition, a lot of times they call this. So if you want to get this, okay, it's probably still available. Um, I know if you go on uh, Best Buy's website, I actually was on there today, all the Shantae games are still available for the PlayStation 4. Uh, so or it might have been the 4 or the 5. So if you want to get Shantae games right now, go get them. They're like anywhere from 34 to $40 so grab those I did that another video on that recently all right last package we have to open but not the last item this I gotta thank to another youtuber Mort's Garage never seen Mort he's very funny he's another youtuber um very awesome channel he does um, videos, pickup videos, gaming videos with his friends. He goes to the flea market, and he played this game, and I was like, holy crap, I didn't know that game existed on the Wii. And that is uh, Mad Dog McCree. Uh, this is a shooting game. It's live action. It looks really terrible, and I want to play it. <laughs> Doesn't that sound weird? That just sounds bizarre. It looks like a terrible game, and I want to play it. Um, yeah, he did this with his buddy. And I just thought this looks so awesome uh, to, to play. And I, I watched that video a couple weeks ago, and it, it, I just want to play this game. It reminded me of um, back in the day when you were watching, actually, Back to the Future. Um, I think this is the game that they played in that diner, the 80s diner, the nostalgic diner. Okay. I got it working. My dad taught me about these. It is wild gunman. How do you play this thing? I'll show you, kid. I'm a crack shot at this. You mean you have to use your hands? That's 
It's like a baby's toy. Hmm. Baby's toy. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to have this. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Oh my god, this is so cool. It looks so bad, but it's so cool. It reminds me of a, a little bit of Lethal Enforcers as well. So yeah, Mad Dog. Awesome. Next month, we have a very cool movie coming out. Mario Brothers movie. Who's going to see that? I was in Target the other day. All the rest of the stuff I got from Target, except for one thing, which... Oh, I don't even see it in the pile, so I'm going to have to grab it. Um, but I got the Super Mario movie. I got Mario. How freaking cool is this? So check your target for this. Uh, they were 20 bucks. It was like 1999 or 1995, something like that. And I thought this was super awesome. Awesome shelf piece. And uh, this will be in my game room somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Uh, we got a whole empty shelf over here. But I wanted to try to put PlayStation stuff over there. I'm trying to keep my Nintendo stuff separate um, from the other stuff. Um, this also came from Target. Actually, you know what? No, I didn't. It came from GameStop. Uh, I had some certificates to use. I had uh, five my last $5 monthly certificate before my membership renews. Um, and then I had $15 in rewards to use. So I got $20 off this game. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have never played a Kirby game. I'm super excited to own this and play it. It looked fun. Um... I'm excited to play. I think this is a port from the Wii. I'm not 100% positive that was like remastered, uh, but yeah, it looked it looked fun. I don't I don't know if it was worth 60 bucks or not, but uh, yeah, we got it. I didn't pay 60 bucks for it, so I guess uh, I got a little bit of a deal. Okay, next we went over to uh, Target. This is in a, a separate visit from the Mario guy that you guys saw, and it's funny. My Target didn't have this deal because I checked the other day when I got the Mario figure, but. I went into a Target in the Palisades Mall, and they had all these games on clearance, including Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, okay? Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed for the Xbox. They also had it for the PlayStation 4, and this was the crazy part. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't think you can. $11.99 for this game. $11.99. They had a bunch of games for $11.99. Um, I also picked up... I, was, I wanted to pick this up on the Switch... And I just thought it was too expensive to pick up for the Switch. It just didn't seem like it was like a great game. Um, but then I was like, you know, when I saw it at Target, $8.99, Lego Brawls. So for $8.99, I am a Lego fan. I love uh, Lego uh, movies. I love Legos. Who doesn't love Legos? I played with Legos as a kid. But Lego Brawls for $9? How can you not buy this for 9 bucks? You know? So I don't know why that particular store had these on clearance. I have never seen that before. I thought it was awesome. It was super interesting. Um, last thing I got from that Target, I was really surprised to see this in the store. Um, because you did see these at one point and then they just disappeared. Uh, but the double pack for Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, so you're basically paying for both of the games. It's $60 a piece. They had two boxes of this. Um, I also noticed it was really weird. I also noticed that um, all the stores um, that I went to, all of a sudden in GameStops, there was a Pokemon Switch that showed up all of a sudden again. Now, there were ones that came out months ago, and all of a sudden they were in stores again. So I, I don't know what's up with that. They restocked them, which I thought was great. So if you missed out on that, check your local GameStop. And then inside the Target, and I noticed there's two different Targets, and they only had one. They had the uh, Splatoon Switch that came out. I think it was over the summer. Um, super cool. That is uh, my favorite Switch special edition that's come out so far. It's got the awesome neon Joy-Cons. Um, I think they were $369. Both of those consoles were $369. They were $10 more than normal console. They don't come with any games. Uh, but they were really super cool um, uh, special edition. So if you didn't pick those up... Go check those out if you're interested in Target and GameStop and see if your local GameStop or Target has that. And maybe pick them up. I don't know. Maybe you missed out on them and you're like, oh my god, I didn't know that existed. Well, they're out in the stores again. So, yeah, I was surprised to see this. It's basically the two games, $60 a piece. You don't get a deal on them. I, I wasn't thrilled about the uh, box condition. Both of them had little dents and dings on them. Um, you know, I know they're not they're not thinking about collectors at, at, at uh, Target, but yeah. Um, super cool. These double packs, for some reason, they seem to go up in value. I don't know why, but 
they seem to go up over time. So this might be something that you might be interested in picking up as well. Got two more things to show you guys. One thing I've already showed you guys in the past. Um, got this from a local game store, mom and pop store. So I know this game is super hard to find. Um, I happened to be there at uh, the game store when UPS happened to show up and two things were in there. Okay. One was the Kirby game I showed you uh, that he couldn't sell me because it was before the release date. The second thing that was in there was this el elusive copy of Metroid Prime. Um, this is crazy. I don't understand what Nintendo is doing, uh, but there is not a lot of copies of this particular game out there. I was able to get one just because I happened to be in the right place at the right time. As the delivery order came in, uh, he opened up the box and I saw this in Kirby. I said, hey, can I buy Kirby also? And he said, no, I can't sell that one. If they found out that we uh, sold it, we'd, um, our distributor, we'd get basically cut off. So thank you to Joe Gamer uh, for selling this to me. Uh, 40 bucks for this game. And, you know, there's a lot of scalpers out there selling this game already. I'm not looking to sell it. Um, I don't know if I want to open it yet, though, because these are going for 80 to 100 bucks. I'm sure they're going to get restocked. And when they get restocked, they'll be 40 bucks all day long. Uh, but until then, I'm going to leave it sealed just in case, uh, because this might end up being one of those games where the value just keeps going up and up and up. Uh, but they are doing um, digital copies of this game. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the way Nintendo, PlayStation, and Xbox are going. Uh, but I am a forever physical guy. So Nintendo, Xbox, Microsoft, PlayStation. If you, I know they're not going to watch this video, but you're going to lose customers. You know, I know there's a big percentage of people that will buy your digital games. This guy right here will not. I know there's a lot of collectors like me also that will not. You know, it's also not fair. If you're going to sell a game and you're going to sell a physical game like this one here, okay, for $40, it should not cost $40 digitally. There should be a discount. You're not packaging it. You're not producing a cartridge, artwork, all that stuff. You know, they have nothing to resell if they wanted to get rid of it. It should be less expensive. So uh, not acceptable to me. Last thing I got that I want to show you guys. This is awesome. Now, I think I showed this in another video that I made about Happy Meals. Um, but since it's a gaming channel, it's appropriate to show you guys this monster. This thing is awesome. This is um the display for the Happy Meals from McDonald's for the Mario Brothers movie. This is so freaking cool. I do not have a place for this in the game room. Um, I have this one and I also have the one uh, for Sonic the movie. Um, so this is super cool and I asked the uh, manager if she would save this for me. She told me she would. And then I went in one day and it was gone. They had a new store manager start. And she has a uh, five-year-old son. And she took this and she put it in the car for him. She was nice enough not only to not give this to her son, which I feel really guilty about, but pull it out of her car and give it to me. Now, I asked the other manager, hey, did you save that for me? And that's when I found out that this was in the other manager's car. I did not ask her to go get it. She's like, well, he already has all the characters. Um, we have all these uh, displays around his bedroom. She's like, you know what? Let me grab it for you. I am so thankful to um, the new manager for going and doing that because, you know what? I feel bad for taking this away from the kid. But I think the kid, all all the kid wants at four, uh, four and a half years old, he just wants the toys. He is not worried about the cardboard display and keeping this. This thing would eventually get, I think, destroyed um, and lost forever, and now I have one in the game room. So, so cool. I'm so happy to have this in my collection, and it's got everybody on it. It's it's a really, really awesome thing. Now, the next thing I need is the movie poster, and I already started leaving my name around movie theaters for that. So, um, if you guys are interested in the movie poster, hurry up quick, go to your local movie theater, and ask them. I think there's two variations of the movie poster. I don't even care which one I get. I'll take whatever I can get. So I already put my name out there and hopefully we get a movie poster in a couple months. They usually don't like to let those go until the movie's out of the movies. Which I have a feeling since I think that movie's coming out. It says in theaters 2023. I think it was March. Uh, which it's, this is March 1st. Is it March or is it April? 
of the release date. I feel like it was March 8th but I, or 5th, but I think it got moved up a couple days. So they won't take those posters down until after. I have a feeling that's going to be in the movies till the summertime. That's my suspicion, at least. So, yeah, hurry up and get this. And then my other thing that I think is going to happen is I think, and only my opinion, is that when this movie comes to DVD and Blu-ray, I bet you that, you know, whether it's Best Buy or Target um, or some other stores, I bet you they do special packaging. There's definitely going to be steel book covers. Um, there's, I, I, this is my, my feeling at least, uh, they might package them with toys. There might be pre-order exclusives because this is a big movie. This isn't like some little thing. This is a big Nintendo movie. So that's my suspicion. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this pickup video. I had a lot of fun. Um, this was a long video. It also took me a long time to acquire all this stuff. It didn't happen overnight. Um, this was a long time. It's been very quiet and desolate out there finding things, but Keep your eyes open. You will find things. Every time I'm like, man, there's nothing out there. All of a sudden, something falls in my lap. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching Pink Flamingo Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a new channel, so please like, share, subscribe. Hitting that thumbs up button does not cost you anything, but it definitely helps out on the YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate it. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.